fascia of the thoracic inlet or outlet that is surrounding the clavicle. Um, this technique might not be found typically in uh, textbooks, but it, it was one that I learned through my training. So to start to diagnose, I, you could spring on the clavicle, and his right clavicle does not like to spring. At the next point, I would take my thumbs and move posterior to the clavicle to assess the fascial motion there. And the fascia here is much more restricted. You could almost feel like the fascia is being pulled taut over the clavicle. Now from this point, you can do a myofascial release of the thoracic outlet like this. But another approach could be just addressing the fascia posterior and superior to the right clavicle. From this standpoint, I'm going to take the fingertips, my left hand, and place them just posterior to the clavicle. And I would caution your patients that this technique may not be very comfortable, but it's very effective. I'll then take my hand on his elbow and make a circular motion, rotating the clavicle posteriorly over my fingertips as I'm resisting that motion. Okay, this is freeing up the fascia and hopefully will improve lymphatic drainage through the thoracic inlet outlet. Okay, so after a few circumductions of the shoulder like that, you can come back and assess springing as well as the restrictions within the fascia. And that did improve with that treatment. That can be repeated on the left side if necessary.